Swayze gang, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. As you saw in the intro, we were drilling through the hood of a pretty cool looking car. And if you haven't guessed what it is, it's actually a 1968 Chevy Cheville. So kind of the king of the muscle cars. We were drilling through the hood of that. So I'll give you a little bit of a backstory. We're actually going to be installing hood pins on a 1968 Cheville. So you guys have not seen this car on the channel, but it is actually my cousin-in-law's car. He's the same guy that got me this awesome SRT signed with my cousin. That was kind of a birthday gift, but he's got a 68 Cheville that he purchased I want to say about six or seven months ago and he's been doing some really cool stuff to it. It's like one of his dream cars. He loves muscle cars. Uh, he loves the Hellcat as well. So it's always great catching up with him and talking cars. But he purchased this car about six to eight months ago and he's been doing some little things here and there. And his ultimate goal is to create it uh, kind of like a resto mod restoration. If you guys don't know what a resto mod is, it's essentially modern technology like Bluetooth, like air conditioning, in an old school body like a Cheville or some other muscle car. So it's a really big trend. Resto mod is a great way if you're gonna have the car as like more of a daily driver rather than just keeping it in the garage. And that's ultimately gonna be his goal, is to drive it as much as possible. But he's been really interested in doing some hood pins on the car because you cannot have a muscle car and not have really cool looking hood pins on it. So he really enjoyed the video of when I drilled in, or I should say my dad drilled into the hood of my 2017 Scat Pack. And so he actually enlisted the help of my dad as well. Since my dad has experience doing this kind of stuff, he drilled through mine. He's, as of this video, now drilled through two hoods. And so he wanted to get the help of my dad to be able to install these hood pins. And well, that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. There's not gonna be too much dialogue in this video, mostly just showing you the process, but it's pretty self-explanatory. There's not really a set guide to it. You just have to find the right holes in the right positions that you wanna do, and you gotta drill through the frame and drill through the hood. I'm gonna be filming the whole process showing you a little bit of the cool car and I plan to have that car more in the future on this channel so stay tuned for that because it really is a beautiful looking ride and there's not very many of them here in Utah. So without further ado, let's get started and I will see you back here in a few minutes.
guys enjoyed today's video. I think it turned out really awesome looking and it really doesn't seem as hard as it was the first time, maybe because we have a little bit of experience under our belt, but I think it turned out really cool. You cannot have a muscle car without those hood pins and the ride just looks really, really clean with that hood pin look. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and make sure you leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts and what else you wanna see on this channel. Also find me on Instagram and TikTok at Schwazy underscore. And like always, stay Schwazy, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.